hey guys welcome and welcome back today we're going to be making a very quick dinner recipe so we're going to be making the simple delicious fish and shrimp jollof rice recipe for your dinner you can have it for lunch as well all right so if you're interested in this video keep watching and please do watch to the end of the video and after watching please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and to share with your friends and family all right so first here i have my already cleaned shrimp so i'm going to go ahead and just season the shrimp with some spices so i've added some dry parsley some salt onion and garlic powder give this a nice mix then i will set aside and here i have my already deboned and cleaned fish so i'm using hake fish you can use any fish that you have at home so i'm going to season with some dry parsley onion and garlic powder then add a little bit of salt then we're going to mix this nicely and set aside all right so for the jollof sauce i'm going to be using some scotch bonnet peppers I have red bell pepper already chopped, some tomatoes already chopped, I have some chopped onions, garlic and ginger. So now I'm going to transfer all of these things into my blender then I will add a little bit of water and blend to smooth. So if today is your first time coming across my channel, you are welcome. Please do subscribe and join the family. And after watching, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please do share with your friends and family. And to my amazing returning subscribers, thank you all so, so much for your genuine love and support. I truly appreciate. All right, guys. So into my pot, I've just added some oil. Then heat that oil and transfer your marinated shrimp. Then I'm going to let this fry for like 30 to 40 seconds each on both sides. And once the shrimp are ready, we are going to transfer to a plate and set aside. Then to my pot, I'm going to add some more oil. Then I will transfer the marinated fish. Then we're going to fry this until they all turn brown. All right, so now my fish are nicely fried. So I'm going to transfer to the plate and set aside. Then I will add some more oil into the pot. Then I will transfer some chopped onions Add some curry and thyme for flavor and we're going to saute this for like two minutes all right so after two minutes i'm going to add some salt then i will stir fry for a few seconds Then I will add some tomato paste, mix and let this fry for two to three minutes. And after three minutes, I will transfer the blended pepper mixture. Then give this a nice mix. Then I'm going to cover and leave this to cook on medium heat for like 12 minutes. And make sure to stir constantly so it doesn't burn. All right, so my sauce has been cooking for 12 minutes. So at this point, I'm going to add some seasoning powder. Then I will mix nicely. And also, I'm going to transfer some crayfish. You will need some crayfish for this recipe. This is going to give it that extra fishy taste. You know, we are cooking kind of like seafood jollof rice. So you will need 
crayfish for this recipe so after adding the crayfish just cover and let it cook for another five minutes all right so after five minutes i'm going to add some chicken stock so i have this at home so if you have any stock at home chicken or beef stock just go ahead and use it but if you don't go ahead and use water then i will add a little bit of water mix this and i'm going to transfer my already washed rice and once you add the rice you want to mix this and let it combine nicely and then we're going to infuse the rice with some more flavor so add some salt thyme and curry then you will mix until everything is well combined and you want to make sure you're not adding too much water to your jollof rice just add water to the rice level this way your jollof rice will come out really nice so for more flavor i'm going to add some bay leaves bay leaves add this extra aroma to your jollof rice then we're going to cover and leave this to cook on low heat until the water is almost dry do not wait for your jollof rice to completely dry before you stir it you don't want to lose that juicy deliciousness from your jollof rice so at this point my rice is about 60 percent cooked so i will give it a nice stir then cover again and allow it to cook in its own heat until the rice is tender all right guys so my rice is ready looking so beautiful so delicious and the aroma is to die for so guys i love to add some butter to my jollof rice and this is the finishing part for my jollof rice i love it and i don't miss this butter part of it because it adds this extra flavor extra yumminess to your jollof rice and the aroma is irresistible guys and if you choose to add your fried fish and shrimp to the jollof rice just go ahead and do so just like i've done and give it a nice mix and that's it guys go ahead and enjoy this delicious seafood jollof rice for your dinner or your lunch this came out so well so delicious and so flavorful so i'm having this with some fried plantain and some salad so just come and join me thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share and also leave a comment see you in my next video